This is Voices in AI brought to you by GigaOM. I'm Byron Reese. Today, my guest is Nicholas Thompson. He is the editor in chief of Wired Magazine. He's also a contributing editor at CBS, which means you've probably seen him on the air talking about tech stories and trends. He also co founded The Atavist, a digital magazine and publishing platform. Prior to being at Wired, he was a senior editor at The New Yorker and editor of NewYorker.com. He also published a book called The Hawk and the Dove which was about the history of the Cold War. Welcome to the show, Nicholas. Thanks, Byron. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, artificial intelligence, what's that all about? <laughs> well, it's one of the most important things happening in technology right now. So, do you think it really is intelligent, or is it just faking it? What is it, like, from your viewpoint? Uh, is it... Is it actually smart or not? Oh, I think it's definitely smart. I think that the premise of artificial intelligence, which if you define it as, you know, machines making independent decisions is very smart right now and soon to get even smarter. Well, it always sounds like I'm just playing, what do they call it, semantic gymnastics or something. But does the machine actually make a decision or is it just no more than your clock makes a decision to advance the, the minute hand, one minute, you know, the computer is as deterministic as that clock. It doesn't really decide anything. It just is a giant clockwork, isn't it? Right. I mean, that gets you into a really complicated discussion about, well, it gets you into 19 layers of a complicated discussion. I would say, yes, in a way it is like a clock, but in other ways, the machines are making decisions that are totally independent from the instructions or the data that was initially fed it are finding patterns that the humans weren't seeing and couldn't be coded in. So in that way, it becomes quite different from a clock. Well, 